stars traveling so far like a dragon fly just grab my hand from him said hey guys what's up welcome back to my channel so for today's video i have a quick tutorial on this eye makeup that i'm wearing and i absolutely love how it turned out i love where my shadows and it is a really warm vibrant sort of a look so if you're a warm eyeshadow fan like me then i'm sure you're gonna love this look and it's very very simple and easy to do so without further ado let's get into the tutorial so I'm starting off with my eye makeup and at first I'm using this Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer on my eyelids just to cancel out any darkness and this is also going to act as my eyeshadow base. And then I'm just using my Beauty Blender to blend it out. And then to set it I'm using my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder so that it doesn't crease. Next up for my eyeshadows, I'm using the Morphe 35O palette and from here I'm gonna take this matte off-white shade and I'm gonna place it on my brow bones to highlight. Next I'm taking this mid-tone matte orangey shade and with my Morphe brush I'm placing it on my crease. This is going to act as my transition shade so I'm taking it a lot high up to my brow bone so that even when my eyes are wide open you can still see the color. And then I'm taking this vibrant orange with another Morphe brush and again I'm placing it on the same area but this time I'm not gonna take it as high as the previous shade. Next up I'm going in with the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm taking this burnt orange shade with my Sigma E25 brush and I'm applying it on the outer corner of my eyes. When there isn't so much product on the brush, I'm taking it in my crease as well and then I'm also placing a little bit on the inner corner because I want to create a halo smoky eye. And then I'm going in with this TZ Cosmetics Twilight palette and from here I'm taking this red magenta sort of a shade and with a pointed blending brush i'm applying it on the outer corner in my crease as well as my inner corner and then with the same brush that i use the burnt orange shade without taking any extra eyeshadow i'm just going over the crease so that it's all well blended and then from the 35O palette, I'm taking this matte brown shade with a small pointy brush and I'm just applying it on my outer corner for some added. Then I'm taking a mixture of this bronze and goldy shade with my finger and I'm gonna apply it in the middle of my eyelid where I've left some empty space. Make sure this shade is well blended with all the other shades. And then I'm going in with this TZ Cosmetics Glitter Palette and from here I'm taking a mixture of these two bronzy and gold shade and again with my finger I'm gonna pack it heavily in the middle of my eyelid. This glitter palette is really awesome and it's so easy to use. And then to line my waterline I'm using my Urban Decay 24-7 eyeliner in the shade Perversion. And I'm also tight lining with this. Next I'm going back to the TZ Twilight palette and I'm taking this magenta sort of a shade and I'm just blending it out on my lower lash line. And then I'm taking the burnt orange shade from Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm smoking out my lower lash line even more. To add a little more definition and depth I'm going back in with the matte brown shade and again smoking it out on the lower lash line. And now to highlight my inner corner, I'm using my Fenty Beauty Highlighter Duo. This is in the shade Hustler Baby, I guess. Yep. Next to line my eyes, I'm using my Lacme Insta Liquid Eyeliner and I'm creating a very thin line and a very small wing. And to fill in my brows, I'm using my Anastasia Deep Brow Pomade in the shade Medium Dark. And then I'm just going in with a spoolie to blend out the color evenly throughout my brows. And for my mascara, I'm using my favorite Jordana Best Lash Extreme Volumizing Mascara on both my top and bottom lashes. 
and then I'm applying some falsies these are from Jans and this is I believe in the style Taka and I've applied it with my duo lash glue now I've already done this part of camera but I just wanted to show you the products that I've used so to contour I've used my sleek contour kit and as blush I've used the Milani baked blush in the shade Rose d'Oro and to highlight I'm using the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Highlighter Duo this is in the shade Mean Money and Hustler Baby and then for my lips at first I've used MAC Velvet Teddy but I didn't like the nude so I went over with Lime Crime Velveteen in the shade Riot this too I wasn't a big fan of because I wanted something a little more warmer so then I went in with the Ofra and Kathleen Lights collaboration liquid lipstick in the shade Miami Fever so this is the finished look and if you're interested in this dress that I'm wearing then I would put the link to the website down below in the description box below so please do go check it out. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video and if you did then please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and share this video with your friends and family so that I can reach more people. And also please make sure to hit the small bell button underneath my video because if you don't hit it you're not going to get any notifications of when I upload my videos. So please make sure sure to hit the small bell and until next time take care and bye bye and this is the perfect like worm quick tutorial on this eye look that i'm wearing and i